Oh my gosh, we get to slap it. He's huge, though. Welcome. Or welcome back. If you are returning, my name is Burr, and if you are a fan of RPGs, JRPGs, MMOs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, if you don't mind giving this video a like, that really helps us combat the algorithm. But... Curious Gorge. It's been a long time. How are you, buddy? How's the waterfall treating you? <laughs> Burr, I scarce recognize you. The flames of battle have tempered you like fine steel. Since last we spoke, I resol resolved to start upon the path of the warrior anew. I swore that I would not succumb to the beast within again, as I did when I faced my brother in Wineport. Speaking of which, Broken Mountain has regained much of his strength, though when I speak to him of taking up the axe once more, he changes the subject and returns to his studies of Arknema and other scholarly pursuits. Nevertheless, his desire to spread the teachings of our ancestors to every corner of Eorzea remains unchanged. And you couldn't come at, have come at a better time. I've just received a letter from Broken Mountain stating that he's uncovered information regarding ancient martial techniques. If you're interested, and I'm sure you are, why not accompany me to Camp Bronze Lake so that we might hear what he has to say together? Why does he just assume these things about me? You don't know me. Whatever! Y'all don't know me! Haters! Hate all you want! You don't know me! Haters! It does feel like it's been uh, years since we've been over here. You saw the cold and snow over in good old Ishgard. New ways to smack people with my axe? Sign me up, yo! Do 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 do! Smack first, talk later. Well do I remember you, Burr, the sole warrior to tame her inner beast. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not been here to save us from ourselves. Wait a minute! Who are you? You know the precipitous nature of the forces we wield, as well as the consequences of losing control for even a moment. The beast does not scruple to discriminate between friend or foe. And if given free reign, we'll lash out at both. I have poured over countless tomes in search of knowledge of how to tame the beast within as you did, but my efforts have thus far proven fruitless. All I have found are ridiculous tales of techniques that, if the author could be believed, would make Raga himself cower in fear. <laughs> the elf. <laughs> Elfers, is what I wanted to say. The elders often told tales of legendary warriors to inspire the youths. Are you sure there is no truth in yours? Quite. There are descriptions of the techniques used by the hero Mithril Heart, but the details are difficult to swallow. No warrior, alive or dead, can rip off a behemoth's arm with his bare hands. That sounds kind of, like, excessive. <laughs> The tales are filled with similar outrageous accounts, brother. It would be a waste of time to investigate their veracity when we know so little of how to tame the inner beast. Besides, you know as well as I that Mithril Heart is not more than a fairy tale hero. What if I could prove that Mithril Heart was flesh and blood? Would you be willing to continue your <clears throat> sorry? Would you be willing to continue your studies then? Never did he stray from the path of the warrior, even as the years took their toll. Axe in hand, to Silver Tear Falls he would go, never to return. Which means that if he truly lived, then there may be something there which proves it. Keep your axe sheathed, Gorge. You better be, you'd be better served by time spent swinging your axe out of practice, dummy, than searching for ghosts. Hey, boss. Well met, Burr. My thanks for ensuring that my old friend here lived to learn from his mistakes, although it seems the lesson didn't stick for long. They're also ginormous, and I'm so little. <laughs> Ice Kate here has been kind enough to keep my brother busy with work and assist me during my recovery. Anything to keep a former comrade out of trouble? As for these stories, far-fetched as they may seem, I wouldn't be so quick to dismiss them, lest we forget. Burr has more than a few legendary accomplishments to her name. Not I fighting rivals and stuff. <laughs> well, if by chance she found proof of Mithril Heart's existence, I would reconsider it, but leave my brother out of it. 
I may not be ready to accompany you, but I can give you advice on where to start. Seek out the sons of Saint Quadak. Saint Quadak. That's <clears throat> that's uh, right above Mordorna, isn't it? <gasps> what the heck is this? Is that new? <sighs> That's so fun. Let us go. Let us go. Du -du 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 -du. Not here. <laughs> Dazzle Doozle. Oh my goodness. Huh. Well, when the waters of Silvertear Falls receded 15 years ago, they revealed a treasure trove of artifacts spanning eras, many of which have yet to be recovered. I do not know if any of those artifacts have any relation to this mithril heart. But it might serve you well to begin your search of those previously submerged areas. Oh, you don't say. I'm gonna have to go and do it all myself. Oh, Lord. Again. A f again. Relics belonging to an ancient Hellsguard warrior. While we are, while we are up to our necks in Alagon artifacts, I cannot say that I have come across any that could be what you seek. Clifton. Clifton, Clifton, Clifton. You disappoint me. Hello. Hello. Clintota. We focus our research on artifacts from the Alagon Empire. As such, there may be more recent discoveries which were ignored by a single minded researcher. Single minded researchers. That never happens. After a cursory search, you find nothing of interest. Well. Bollocks. <laughs> what did we get? An axe. Ho ho ho. What a glinky dink. They're gonna be so excited. You're totally welcome, dudes. Totally. It's a sad name, though. Broken Mountain. <laughs> I just feel bad for him. Well, have you uncovered any proof of Mithril Heart's existence? This axe, the engraving and the curvature of the blade are exactly as described. To think of the beast who tasted the steel. They probably don't like it. Surely this proves that Mithril Heart is more than a mere campfire story. With a steel heart and its legendary techniques, we'll have the strength to slay even the strongest of beasts by the dozen. If Mithril Heart's feats are indeed possible, but the knowledge of how he performed them would prove invaluable in restoring the warrior's reputation. You could show the people of Eorzea the true potential of the warrior. Surely no small number of them would feel compelled to take up the axe. Indeed, it could prove a great boon for our cause. Very well. I will return to my tomes and scour them for any passages relating to Mithril Heart. Mind you, ancient techniques may rouse the inner beast like none before. Of that I have no doubt, which is why you must not take your training lightly. When I uncover more information, you must needs be ready. Well, that was easy. I was really expecting, like, some fighting. I can tell you I've not neglected your training, Burr, which is good. I have continued my research into the tales of Mithril Heart and his legendary fears, feats, and I believe I've come across a passage which may guide your next step. Before I share my findings with you, however, there is another matter of pressing importance that must be resolved before we continue. A ferocious beast has been sighted near the Weeping Saint in the Corthus Central Highlands. Oh no. Here it is, and I would have you, me, and my brother go and slay it as it poses a threat to any who venture nearby. 
I realize that this may seem like a trivial matter, but I assure you that it is of the utmost importance. Is it really? I think they're they're probably just scared. They don't want to lose themselves again, like lose control. So they just want me there as like a a backup. But yeah, but that's my guess. Is this guy gonna attack me? Let's go. <laughs> Thank the twelve you made it. The beast caught us unawares. My brother leapt to my defense and slew it, but in that moment. Oh man. So yeah, I was right. They wanted me to be here just as backup for this. He was overcome by his inner beast as before and wine for it. I knew it was folly to bring him here. I beg of you, stop him before he hurts himself. Basically, I'm just always a babysitter, I guess. In our fury. Oh. Got him. Uh oh, ours is it aroused? Our inner beast? Burr, speak to me. Are we gonna go crazy? Oh, thank the gods you're awake. When your final blow landed, you and my brother both collapsed. What happened, Burr? Do you remember anything? Who am I? <laughs> your inner beast slashed out as if trying to escape? Let's try it. It's getting close, guys. You keep pushing me with all this nonsense, okay? I see. The lingering numbness is likely your body recovering from the shock. Otherwise, you appear to be unharmed and in full control of your faculties. Thank goodness. I hate when my faculties run amok. I owe you an apology, Burr. Once again, I lost control. I have already tended to my brother's wounds. You needn't worry. Alas! As I suspected, my brother yet lacks the strength to control his inner beast. As you may have guessed, I called you both here to see if my fears were unfounded. <laughs> I did not wish to give you cause to worry, brother. But when the beast stirs, my mind grows clouded and my will falters. Or perhaps I remain silent to avoid facing the bitter truth. Who would trust a protector that could turn on them at any moment? It pains me to do this. But I cannot allow you to accompany Burr any longer. The risk is far too great for you both. May happen as best we continue this conversation in the safety of Camp Brunslake. God damn it, Burr! Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. You've... you've grown so much stronger. Well, I've hardly grown at all. Well, fighting like primals... And you know, being a warrior of light kind of helps that. So don't beat yourself up, dude. It's okay. <laughs> Show Eorzea what it means to be a true warrior. I know. I know you can. So my brother has been in a dour mood ever since we returned from the Weeping Saint. Well, that is only natural given his lack of progress. And it may be for the best. The teachings of our people are too dangerous for those who lack control. That is why I chose to focus my studies on how to tame the inter inner beasts. For the sake of my brother, I wanted, more, I wanted not more than to solve this dilemma. But then fate intervened, and I stumbled upon the tales of Mithril Heart. But mayhap we need not forsake one pursuit for the other, though, in seeking the techniques of an eld. We may discover the reason why you can hold the beast in check so easily, while my brother and I fumble about like children. However, I'm still concerned about what you told me before, about your inner beast lashing out during your duel with my brother. Can you tell me of that once more? See her do her charades. <laughs> them reading their lips. Simply recalling my, the duel rouses your inner beast from its slumber. Wait, it all makes sense. Only the flames of animosity may temper a warrior's soul. I came across these words in a passage, and I did not understand their meaning until now. Inner beast stirs when we face an opponent who pushes us to surpass our physical and mental limits. Only in that moment can we attain mastery of new techniques. 
This must be how the heroes of Eld, like Mithril Heart, became such legends. They traveled the realm, testing their mettle against the fiercest, fiercest foes they could find. Your path is clear, then, Burr. You must challenge yourself as they did. You must grow stronger and know and hone your skills to new heights. Ah, so continue exactly as I was. Perfect. Well met, Burr. It seems your trials have prepared you for the next step down your long path. However, while your progress is truly remarkable, I'm afraid my brother still fears the fury of his inner beast. Even in the trading yard, he swings his axe with hesitation. I mean, I can't blame the guy. It's a little scary. He doesn't want to hurt people. He's a good person. Seeking to test himself against live foes, he has joined the Maelstrom's efforts to repel a recent sp spate of cobalt attacks. However, Wastegate has sent word that his ferocity on the field of battle is not what it once was. My brother has long admired your will. Test your axe against ever stronger adversaries and master the techniques of Eld, and by doing so, serve to inspire him and all who aspire to walk the path of the warrior. Remember the words set forth in the ancient tomes, and seek foes that test the very limits of your mind and body. The heat of battle will awaken the beast within, bestowing upon you the knowledge of your ancestors. Luckily, the path you walk has been tread before, and you need not wander the land aimlessly. According to the tomes, Mithril Heart once spent a season hunting the hulking grizzly bears that stalk Abelathia's spine, the largest of which are said to rival even a behemoth in size. <laughs> Big bears. Make your way to Talfeather. Home to many seasoned hunters that know the lay of the land and of the creatures inhabiting it. Find the beasts of Mithril Heart's hunt and test yourself against their razor claws as he did. How tiny you are. So little. <clears throat> So a lot of axing around going on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kicks my ex. Tell me about the bears. Tell me all about these giant ferocious bears. Is that you? You tell me. They bow. Ask skinny hunter around here about the grizzlies of Abolathia's spider. They like to tell you the same thing. If you see one, run. That sounds reassuring. You're a right fool if you're thinking of going after one of those massive beasts alone. Best bring about a dozen friends along if you want to come back in one piece. If you've got the men, then I've heard of hunting parties using Willem Salmon to draw them out. If you head up the Willem River, you're like to find a few what died during the salmon run. Okay, so this is going to be a, an event, I suppose, isn't it? Bring a bunch of men with axes. Are you a hunter or are you a gardener? Whoa! That car, though. Hi, I can hardly forget the size of the beast I saw that day. I was tracking a chocobo around the hundred throws when I spotted a bear near big as a house drinking its fill from the waters. I didn't dare get any closer and went home from that day's hunt empty-handed. And I don't like being wrong, so... It's best if I just think everyone's gonna die. <laughs> and then I'm pleasantly surprised if they don't, you know? Gotta protect my heart. It's very, very sensitive. I mean, I probably will have to, but still. Wow, big buddy. I don't know what I do. What am I doing? That. Ah! I hate you guys. I always get nervous about these things. <laughs> I just... I don't know why. It's usually pretty good. Except for that one, the mud puppy. But that was because... Because I wasn't doing it right. <laughs> now give me my new moves. Peace and take you. Ah, Burr, welcome back. My brother and voice Kate were just telling me of the Maelstrom successes in Lenosha. Aye, the kobold scattered as frightened mice before our wrath. I dare say they'll think twice before setting foot on the Vincent soil again. Burr, as eager as I am to hear of your journey to Abalethia's spine, I can't afford to waste any more time away from my training. The kobolds may be licking their wounds for now. But they'll be back in a greater numbers. Till next we meet. <laughs> S 
Sai, Curious Scourge has acted in high spirits since I returned from Limsa Limsa, but his bravado scarcely hides the truth. What he said was true. Our operations against the kobolds were a resounding success. However, troops have fought alongside him say that Curious Scourge was noticeably shaken during the battle, as if afraid the tide would turn at a moment's notice. But it was not fear of the kobolds that caused his axe to waver. He still fears his own inner beast. As long as this fear has hold of him in battle, then there is little hope that he will grow as a warrior. The kobolds become bolder with each passing day, and the Maelstrom's forces are spread too thin. Maelstrom's have come under special scrutiny. However, if fear continues to hold him back, I doubt he'll manage to impress anyone. Once again, we are left waiting for a means to tame the inner beast. It's always about taming the inner beast. I feel like... This is a metaphor for something. <laughs> Burr, was there not learned from your journey to the Dravidian forelands that could be of aid? Ah, and in the same manner as before, the memories of battle have roused the inner beast. So my theory was correct. The key to mastery lies in the heart of conflict. Just as the ancient tomes say, only victory against a worthy opponent can temper the inner, be inner beast. Burr, your growth as a warrior has given us invaluable insight into the true nature of the inner beast. However, there is still much that remains shrouded in mystery. And there's still the question of what exactly sets Burr apart from your brother. Indeed, the tools to tame the beast within are hidden somewhere. I just have yet to find them. Burr, continue with your training while I return to the tomes. A solution will present itself soon enough. Broken Mountain. Burr, you couldn't have come at a better time. Weisskart, <laughs> Weisskate has just arrived and looks eager to speak with me. Ah, Burr, just the warrior I wanted to see. The nation of Limsa Lowinza is in dire need of your aid. The Maelstrom is short-handed and the Beast Tribe's attacks only grow more ferocious. I'm here searching for skilled fighters, so there aren't many more skilled than you. They're lucky my girl doesn't get a big head. Everybody's like, always oh, singing her praises. As you know, my brother has already entered the call, helping the Maelstrom defend from the relentless kobold ass assaults. Kobolds aren't the only thorn in our sides. Pirates serving the Sahagin have been pillaging along the coasts of Lenosha. That's why we need your expert. They may be mere pirates, but their blades cut as deep as any I've seen. Lipsilovids will be grateful to have your prowess on their side. Once you've made your preparations, hurry to Aleport and speak with the Storm Captain on duty for the details of the mission. Alright, pirates! I thought we were like... Oh no, we did fight pirates before. I was gonna say, I thought we were friends, cause like... Uh, Merle Whip. <laughs> But, no. Alas, I am incorrect. Adventurer, the Maelstrom thanks you for your aid. A band of pirates flying the flag of the Serpent Reavers has landed ashore the Isles of Umbra, and all reports indicate they plan to use that as a foothold to attack Aleport. Our walls only defend from inland assaults. I shudder to think of what might happen were the pirates to bombard us with cannons from the sea. Our course of action has been decided. We will take the fight to them before they have a chance to mount an offensive. Our rendezvous point is at the Isles of Umbra. The pirates shall not weather the wrath of the Maelstrom. So you're the one Waste Kate said. He said, much of your prowess. I look forward to seeing you in the fray. The former hero. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Good. Now that our troops are gathered, we shall move out at once. Our objective is to slay the pirate captain without a head to lead them. The Serpent Reavers will scuttle back to their moldy ships. Oh gosh, I forgot that I didn't turn my volume down. I just heard myself. Uh, the Dalmel Calf. I got that from one of my brothers. It's like uh, a lumpy giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how to describe it. 
a lumpy giraffe. However, the task ahead of us should not be taken lightly. Reports tell of a fearsome beast under the captain's thrall. Take care not to let your guard down, lest you become the beast's next meal. Camel leopards! Fight back before we're overwhelmed. Ooh. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that it? That, that was it? Pirates attack is if, attacked as if possessed. Thank the twelve your axe cut them down. We shall press forward for airport. Oh, okay. It's gonna say. The main camp will soon be within our sights. I'll protect the wounded. Burr, give the pirates a taste of your steam. The pirates think they have strength the numbers, but a storm captain is worth a dozen of them. We shall leave the wounded to recover here. Burr, to me. Stop the serpent reavers. If your hell's bent on trying, it's been a long time since me pup had fresh corpses to feast on. What? That's gross. Oh gosh, I would have died of these guys. <laughs> oh no! We know, you're great. And feed dead people to your dog. Such fine axemanship I've never seen. Hi, Gemini. However, now is not the time to dally about in awe. This place fills me with foreboding. Let us meet again at Aleport. Yeah, I... There's, like, dead people just coming to life, and the pirates, and... I don't know. Balls of energy, and big meat at print. Pretty man, just, like, that place could give off a foreboding vibe. Faux show. Just saying. Like this music. <laughs> Third, now that we are safely out of those cursed isles, I would like to thank you for your aid once again. Without the courage your fighting spirit bestowed upon us, we would have been overwhelmed. The Maelstrom is honored to count you amongst our allies. The captain speaks for us all. Your ferocity inspired us to carry on in the face of the pirate onslaught. What drove you to fight with such fury? It's elementary, my dear Watson. And here I thought that axe was just for killing, but instead you wielded it in your defense, and your will to protect us gave you the strength to surpass the limits of your mind and body. Seven hells, I've been fighting all wrong. I've seen nary a battle so fierce or our protector more stalwart. Burr, I would like to hear more of our skirmish from your eyes. After you have recovered from the fight, pray speak to me again. <laughs> Anyways. How to train your warrior. I was I thought it said how to train your mother. What? It would seem our battle with the spirit, the serpent reavers bestowed upon you yet another technique of Eld. My comrades and I, as well, will not soon forget the ferocity with which you protected our lives this day. I shall return to Maelstrom Command and inform them of our success. I look forward to the day we fight side by side once more. Alrighty, goodbye. The lessons learned from your example will serve to aid me in countless battles to come. No doubt, Wastecake and the others are eager to heal me back from you. Give that old marauder my regards. Okie dokie! Hello, my friend. Ah, Burr. I knew the separate reavers would fall swiftly before your axe. Did you learn aught from the skirmish that might be evaded? Oh, I did not expect such evil opponents to wake the beast from its slumber, but it seems your conviction to safeguard your comrades had much the same effect as pitting yourself against the bears of Amalathia's spine. Burr, this information may prove to be invaluable. Within your story likely lies the key to overcoming my brother's struggle. Speaking of which, my brother suffered injuries in a clash with the cobalt, and has come here to nurse his wounds, as I did. It would please him to see an old friend such as you. Pray speak with him for an exchange of battle stories. 
They serve to lift his spirits. I burn. I'm joyed to see you came through your battle with the pirates unscathed. If only I could say the same. I've been ordered to rest here until the wounds I suffered in our fight against the kobolds healed. According to the unit's report, the kobolds unleashed a new type of explosive on the maelstrom troops. George valiantly threw himself upon it before detonation, shielding his allies from the worst of the blasts. The new bomb that had a destructive force unseen of the kobold's primitive explosives. That my brother is still standing before us is no small miracle. How do they, they have bombs now? Truth be told, my wounds are barely severe enough to warrant sending me here. The moment I saw the bomb, I knew I couldn't let my comrades come to harm and leapt upon it as if by instinct. I remember nothing after that. Hmm, Ah has a similar story to tell. I have amnesia and fainting spells, and sometimes I, yeah, definitely blackout spells. I got a little bit of a, maybe a brain tumor, but it's just the crystal, I think. <laughs> this Martha Reavers almost overwhelmed the Maelstrom troops, but she remained undaunted in their defense, awakening the enemies with a ferocity unseen before. You both poured your energy not into defeating your foes, but protecting your allies. Could this be the secret to taming the throes of the beast within? If so, that means... Brother, you have finally brought your inner beast to heal. What? But I didn't feel the beast taking hold. This theory must be tested. Brother, once your wounds are healed, it would serve you best to let go of the worry you keep from unleashing your full strength. Swing your axe unbridled by fear. But what if I succumb to the beast's call again? My training has only made me stronger. If I lose control, it could be worse than a wine board. Now is not the time for doubt. Your allies, nay, your friends, will be by your side. They will ensure none are harmed should the worst come to pass. I know your de theory demands that I fight without hesitation, but please, I must think of this. Aye, we should that curious gorgeous wounds heal before we demand anything more from him. Rest well, my friend. We'll return before long. Aye. Burr, there is more I would speak with you about. Pray visit me when you are ready. What you want now? To rouse the inner beast with fierce battle and tame it by resolving to fiercely defend your allies. This theory could serve us better than aimlessly scouring the ancient tomes, but my brother still fears the consequences should he lose control. Are we going to set him up? If I, if indeed his fears should come to pass, you must be ready to stop him, as you have before. Burr, prepare your axe for our next battle. How nice. Ah, Burr, I can see the power in your stride and feel the inner beast raging within you. You will need such strength, for your next trial is at hand. <laughs> Get your axe in gear. We skate and my brother are here looking for more fighters to supplement the undermanned maelstrom troops in a new operation. And they've asked for you, my name. Seek them out if you wish to raise your axe once more against the beast tribes. What if I just want to be friends with all the beast tribes? Like, you know. Hi, Gorgie boy. What? How you doing? Brother, the Maelstrom is once again a need of support, is it not? Pray, tell us what it is they require. Very well, now that everyone is here. Scouts have reported increased activity among the Kobolds. The 179th Order seems to be producing explosives day and night in preparation for an all-out assault. From all indications, they aim to attack, attack this very camp. The Maelstrom's strategy is to intercept the bombs near Zella's room. Run. Kent Bronze Lake is a haven for wounded soldiers, and its defense is one of our top priorities. If we had two legendary warriors by our side, our success would be all but assured. Some of Run is barely wide enough for one car to ride abreast. If I were to lose control, none would be able to escape the beast's wrath. 
On the contrary, brother, this battle will give you the chance to once again assert your dominance over the beast within. This is what you spoke of earlier, is it not? To tame the inner beast by devoting yourself to the defense of your allies? Brother, if my theory turns out to be true, then control is within your grasp. As long as Burr is at your back, there is naught to fear. Yeah, I got you, homie. Will you run away again? You know that the path you wish to walk, the path of the warrior, does not lie down that road. Say no more. Please, leave me to my thoughts. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. Well, we've not much time for he hesitation. The storm captain awaits near Zelda's ruin. Ruin, and we'll be deciding shortly, Burr. If you decide to join the fight, pray tell Cor Curious Gorge. If anyone could rouse him from his slump, it's you. Nod. Nod. Just ask and you shall receive. Oh my goodness. My apologies for causing worry, Burr. My brother is right. It's up to me to walk the path of light. I know that, but still I cower before the beast within. But a true warrior faces his fears, axe in hand, right? Come on, Burr. Remind me what it's like to scoff at my enemy's feeble blows. Awaken your inner beast and slap the fear right out of me. Oh my gosh, we get to slap it? He's huge, though. How do we even reach his face? <laughs> Keel over and die. Kaboom, boom, 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 boom. Cut step, what a blow. That's the stuff warriors are made of, Burr. Thank you. I'll dominate the beast within, and our axes will stand indomitable against those bloody kobolds. Our enemies will feel the full force of my fury and will not step on one ill into the camp. Come, Burr, we mustn't keep the storm captain waiting. <laughs> Can I, how about I just, you just let me slap you some more. Burr, that both you and Curious Gorge will be aiding us brings me comfort. Camp Bronze Lake could not ask for a more stalwart defense. Our strategy is to intercept the kobolds at two separate locations in Zelda's run. We'll split into two groups with one warrior protecting each one. Burr will be dispatched to the eastern side. Nary a single kobold will make it through with your fury alongside us. Curious Gorge will be in charge of the western side's defense. I've seen you crush kobolds under your axe before. Today shall be no different. Once the 179th order have run home with their tails between their legs, we will rendezvous to the north. May your axes strike true. Dismissed. Yet, get em. That's them. I walked right into their ambush. Rescue the storm private. I thought he was disappeared. <laughs> Aiding him. Okay, okay. That was too bloody close. Good thing the kobolds didn't count on you showing up. It looks like the eastern side is clear. Curious Gorge and the others may need our help. Hurry, burn. Well, my apologies, but it seems the kobolds couldn't wait for you. Cap Brown's Lake has not to fear from the 179th Order anymore. Curious Gorge's axe was like a whirlwind, strewing the kobolds in every which direction. His courage carried us... What are they doing? All through battle, unharmed. Without these two warriors on our side, I have no doubt the kobolds would have overwhelmed us. I will be submitting a detailed report of our of your heroism to Wastegate and Maelstrom Command. You have all fought bravely today. Let us return home for well-deserved rest. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Burr. I can scarce remember the last time I fought as I did today. I swung my axe with abandon. But I was free from the inner beast's grasp. It was just as my brother said. By pouring my strength into the defense of my allies, the beast was with within was tamed. However, kobolds are hardly a true test of one's prowess. If the fight had been against a more worthy foe, or if the circumstances had been more dire. Although today's battle was heartening, it is too early to say I have subdued the beast. I'll return to Krebs. Cap Brown's Lake to rest, Burr, let my brother know of our victory here. Yo, homie, what up? 
It seems your victory was well earned. What of my brother? Was he able to fight without succumbing to his inner fury? So, even with today's victory, he yet dreads the consequences were he to lose control. Still, it is only through the strength of his own will that he may dispel the fog of self-doubt. Unfortunately, the beast tribes won't wait for Curious Gorge's epiphany. Storm Marshal Slefferson has sent word that he requires a warrior's strength to aid in another maelstrom defense. As you already know, kobolds aren't the only nuisances we have to contend with. The Sahagin have taken advantage of the distraction caused by our focus on the kobolds to launch an offensive against the Tide Gates. With the bulk of Maelstrom forces tied up with the kobold threat, we can ill afford to send any men to defend the gate near Camp Skull Valley, leaving us wide open to the Sahagin threat. Burr. If the strength of a warrior were to see the people of Limsilamins is safely through this storm, then mayhap the glory of our ancestors would be restored. And all across Eorzea would know of us as guardians instead of brutes. However, it saddens me to say we cannot depend on my brother to be ready to shoulder such a weight. For when the time comes, he must needs be ready to take on the task alone. In the meantime, pray tell me of your battle at Zola's Run. Recall the ferocity with which you fought, and lose yourself in the memories of your fight. He really, really kind of likes when I tell them those stories, doesn't he? I know, he's just studying things. There's nothing weird behind it. I'm certain, I'm certain. As before, your inner beast roused, and another technique of eld is at your disposal. Your progress is encouraging. Continue on this path, continue to challenge the limits of your body and mind, and victory in the battles to come is assured. Hey -o. Victory! Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon. If you're interested, that link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.